Welcome back to Fees Fight Back. Today's video is very exciting. It was our holiday. Um, I do want to put a little disclaimer at the start of the video. The pictures and the videos that I took, I don't think I can even string together one full day of eating. So this definitely is not a what I ate in a day. This is just a few clips um, of the holiday, some of the amazing things that I did manage to challenge myself to have and some of what we got up to. Okay, start video. So it's a very early get up. Um, we had to leave the house at four, so I got up about half three um, and we went to the airport. Um, for my breakfast, I had two pots of prep porridge with a banana. Prep porridge is just the elite porridge. I absolutely love it, but we don't have a prep around us, so it's a proper treat whenever I can get it. Um, we got on the plane. This was our little TV that told us how far to go. This is us taking off. Um, we flew at about eight um, and it was about three and a half hours in the air so it wasn't too bad. Um, obviously took my snack with me so I tried this bar which was really really tasty. I had had it once before so I knew that I liked it and yeah got a bit squashed but <laughs> it's fine. This is our little progress of the journey. Um, I had my lunch on the flight, I had my hummus flapper wrap which I took with me and then I had this chocolate donut when we landed just for some extra snacks um, and then it was about a hour and a half transfer to the hotel um, which was nice because we got a little scenic tour of where we were um, and it was really really hot and I was travelling in trousers because it was really cold in England that morning so it was boiling by this point. Um, we got to the hotel and I had a bar just for some energy um, and then we had a mooch around the hotel and then we went to dinner and they had a buffet. Now this was my first buffet in recovery and it was the first night in a whole new place um, and lots of new foods but I did really well. I had two plates and then I had a dessert plate as well which was delicious um, and then we had cocktails. It is currently day one of holiday and it's been a very long day we literally got up at like 4 a.m um but i've had a bit of a thing today where i was just like i'm not going to come away from another holiday and regret the things i didn't do because because of my eating disorder or because i was scared to or because i just couldn't allow myself to um so i have just done and eaten what I want today and that's meant I've not done too much and I've eaten a lot of food um, and I had alcohol for the first time in way over a year um, and do you know what? I feel really good. I am absolutely exhausted but I just had this thing, we obviously had like a buffet at dinner and I was, there was so many things I wanted to try. And I was like, I literally can. I can have whatever I want. And I don't know how to describe that like mental freedom that I've given myself just to be like, oh, I'm on holiday. Like, have what you want. Um, had a really good first evening. Um, and exhausted, so we're gonna get some sleep now. <laughs> So this was some of my breakfast from the next day. I tried some new fruit um, and then I had some pancakes with um, honey on them. They had like this whole rack of proper honeycomb honey and it was absolutely delicious. I've not had honey for ages. Um, and then I put some bacon on the honey pancake, which was amazing. It was a bit like maple syrup bacon pancake type thing. Um, and then I put some bacon on the like fresh fluffy bread that they had and made a bit of a bacon roll type thing. Yeah, it was a, obviously a very different breakfast from what I'm used to, um, but it was absolutely delicious. Um, then we, we spent a lot of time just chilling by the pool. Um, this is just one of the snacks I had at some point in the day. Um, I also had um, this cheesy tomato bread thing with lunch. Um, it's just part of my lunch. I didn't do too much more filming or anything. Um, 
for the rest of that afternoon. Um, but this was some of dinner, um, yeah, just a collection of things from the buffet. Um, the only thing I didn't really like was the vegetable tart thing, that was not great. Um, and I had more cocktails. Um, this was another day's breakfast, tried some cornflakes, had a couple of slices of toast um, and an apple. Um, this is me just looking out, admiring the view. Um, this was the sea. This was another snack at some point. We are on day two of like full day of the holiday um, and spent the morning chilling, sunbathing, reading, sleeping, snacking, eating and that is 100% okay. We're about to go out to explore this afternoon. So before we left the hotel, I decided that I wanted to try the creperie. Um, I always adored crepes when I was younger. And as soon as I saw they had a creperie, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get one. I need to get one. Um, so I decided now's the time. And I went and got one and I got a white chocolate one. And if you know me, I absolutely adore white chocolate. Um, and it was delicious. It was so good. And there were other toppings I could have gone for, which felt safer. But I knew I wanted the white chocolate one. Um, yeah, I missed crepes. To be honest, they all sounded delicious. The only one I would never do is Nutella because I absolutely hate Nutella, um, which I know is a bit of an unpopular opinion, but here we are. Um, then we went on a little outing and it was really, really pretty. Um, it was very traditional and there was really nice shops that we walked around. It did get very hot though, unfortunately. We got really hot. This is one of my snacks. So we spent a few hours sort of wandering around and yeah, just exploring, but we all got really quite hot. Um, so we stayed for a little bit of the sun setting um, and we were going to stay into the evening, but we actually all decided that we just wanted to go back to the hotel. Um, but yeah, it was really pretty. I'm really glad that we went. I think we were all still quite tired though. The holiday was definitely meant to recharge. But we, yeah, we did end up staying to watch sunset and it was absolutely beautiful. Now we got dinner when we got back and this was such a big push for me because basically I tried some new desserts and I tried banoffee pie, which I've never had before. Um, but as you can see, I had one slice. I loved it so much that I went and got another slice. And I don't know the last time I ate a food, it was like, this is so tasty that I was like, okay, I can go and get more of that food then. And yeah, I finished it and it was delicious. And we had some cocktails afterwards, and this was the last of the sunset. <laughs> um, breakfast the next day, had some eggs, toast, um, an apple. Um, this was some of my snack I had a little bit later. Then I had lunch, which was demolished. Then for my dessert for my lunch, I had a brownie with chocolate sauce. Um, and this is despite what you're about to see is coming up what I had later in the day. And like previous year, and I would have been like, well, this is my dessert of the day, but just wait and see. I just want to say, first off, ignore how awful my sunburn is. Um, yep, yeah, that was a misjudgment on my part. Um, and ignore how I look because we're actually just about to go and do some yoga. Um, but yeah, uh, had a good day today. Um, for lunch, we had, I had a brownie for my dessert and I didn't, I was going to get some fruit and then I went to look at the desserts and they had the brownie and I thought, mmm, that looks good. So I had the brownie. It's that simple. <laughs> Yoga time. Okay, so after yoga, which was really lovely, um, we had an Asian themed night and this was a multiple course dinner and I fully partook in it. We started off with some prawn crackers with sweet chilli sauce. 
Then we had spring rolls. Well, I had a spring roll. I didn't have the shrimp thing because I don't like that kind of fish. Um, and it was so tasty. So that was two starters. Um, there was also sushi, but I don't like sushi. Um, we also had this salad, which had like honey dressing on it. And that was absolutely delicious. So I polished off all those. Um, then I had the most amazing noodle chow mein type thing. Then we had another dessert and it was like, I don't know, a deep fried banana in like pastry type thing with um, ice cream and honey. And it was so delicious and I managed all of it. And I was so proud of myself. That is something I couldn't even have imagined doing even a few months ago. And by the way, that's after having cocktails before dinner as well. Did I just have a like four course meal, prawn crackers, spring roll, which was amazing. We had a salad that was covered in like honey, which was delicious. Um, then a humongous bowl of noodles. Um, honestly, the pitch did not do it justice, and I was like, <sighs> but then they brought dessert out, ice cream with more honey, and like a fried banana thingy with cinnamon in it, finished it all, then went out for a drink after. You know, I was having a think about this the other day, because I was like, Recovery for me, it's not just about like getting to a healthy weight and maintaining a healthy weight. I want to heal my relationship with food. Like, I kept on thinking tonight, young Fee would have the food that tastes nice. And so I ate it. And just like with the brownie at lunch, it's as simple as that. And something that I'm learning is actually, the more I keep doing these things, the less big they are. Like, do you know what? Tonight was just nice to just chat and have fun and laugh. The food was really good. And yeah, that's nice. This is me just demonstrating that I am human and that I was bloated, but that's okay. Can I also just quickly say before I actually get in my pajamas and go to bed? Managing to do this, like, all-inclusive food holiday would not have been possible if I hadn't put in that work before I came. Like the last three months, four months, I have worked so hard on building a framework that allowed me to enjoy this holiday. Physically, emotionally, all those moments where I was like, I can't face more food, I can't face more food, and I just kept on going. I did that and it's worth it. So if you're worried about taking that leap of faith and it is scary, do it. Just do it because yes, my waistline is bigger and I'm bloated and I actually don't care. So is my smile. I really liked this quote, so I just wanted to put it in. Um, this was one of the sunrises. I got up most days for sunrise just because I'm an early riser anyway, and I find sunrise so peaceful and it was just beautiful. Um, and this was when the sun was a bit higher. Um, this is my little outfit, uh, my breakfast, tried new things again. Um, one of the pages of my book, which I thought was really poignant. This was some of my lunch. Um, I also tried this jelly, which was the most awful jelly I've ever eaten. It was not great. This was part of one of my snacks in the day. Okay, so the dinner that evening. Oh my gosh, huge challenge. We started off with nachos with like dips. Then for a starter, we had tacos. Then we had a chicken Caesar salad. That was all polished off. And then for my main, I had this chicken enchilada, which was huge. My dad had like a beef burrito. Um, but yeah, it was absolutely huge. Honestly, the video does not do it justice. And after that, we had churros with ice cream and chocolate sauce. To be honest, the churros weren't actually that great, but the ice cream and the chocolate sauce were quite nice. Um, but yeah, did it. I know it looks like I have super greasy hair. I don't. 
I had a massage thing and she put loads of oil in my hair. Um, but I did dinner. It was a big challenge tonight. We had like Caesar salad, then tacos, then enchiladas, and then churros and ice cream and chocolate. Um, but kept on going and yeah, exhausted. So let me get some sleep. The next day I woke up to this text from Hannah, which really, really, I really needed because I was actually, I was struggling a little bit on this day. This was another sunrise, which was really beautiful. I had a slightly different breakfast again, but it was really tasty. Trying to keep it honest, um, having a hard, hard brain day today. Um, just feeling a bit meh. Um, but done some reading, done some chilling in the sun. Just been for a little dip to clear, clear off, cool down, and then I'm gonna go and grab some lunch. Part of lunch was a plate of a lot of different things from the um, buffet bar and then for my dessert I tried some tartar tan melon and then this bonoffee pie pot thing. Um, after lunch I read some more of my favourite book um, just for some comfort. I really debated on whether or not to film this but I'm trying to be real I've had a really hard day today, a really hard day. Day. Um, and I ended up having a bit of a meltdown this afternoon slash evening um, and I'm trying to not be angry with myself about it because I've actually done so well this holiday I coped with so many changes to food to routine and I think it all just built up a little bit today and it all got very overwhelming um, I think if I could put in like a sequence of events, I had like my first massage yesterday, which was lovely, but they used loads and loads of oil on my skin. Um, and I don't like creams on my skin. I really struggle with that. And I felt like I couldn't get it off. Like I had a shower. <laughs> um, and the, the whole massage experience was new to me and I don't quite know how I feel about that. Um, then dinner was, really challenging yesterday and then I didn't sleep very well um, and then I just fell off all morning and I tried to distract myself and I tried to just do everything normally but I couldn't get away from that feeling of offness um, and then it just accumulated and then this evening it was just sort of I just felt sticky I couldn't didn't feel like I could get like sun cream and like everything and then sea salt and chlorine and just it just got difficult um but I spoke to mum and dad they were amazing as always um so we're just gonna try and take it easy and just deep breath and keep on going these were just some pictures of us um, just before sunset. Um, this was one of the plates I had for dinner. That was really nice, that crazy pumpkin pie thing. And this was a random bit of pie that I tried from my mum's plate. And that was another plate, I had two plates. Um, and then I had this for my dessert, which was like a vanilla salted caramel mousse with like honey pieces, honeycomb pieces on top. Um, then had some more cocktails and alcoholic drinks. Um, these were my uber cool pajamas, which I just loved. And this is a page of my book, which meant a lot to me. Um, this was another day, had the same sort of breakfast, had egg and toast and different fruits and that kind of stuff. Um, this is dad supporting my idea that my orange bucket hat was in fact very cool. Lots of chilling by the sea. Um, this was one of the plates that I had for lunch. Nice array of stuff. Um, had some melon for my dessert and then had an apple a little bit later. Again, this is not everything that I ate. This is just some random clips that I have. Um, then we went out for dinner. Had a tricky day, but putting myself up from it. 
Um, obviously going out for our last dinner, buffet, gonna absolutely rock it. So started off with a couple of alcoholic beverages. I'm not actually too sure what was in that. Um, had a cocktail as well, and then had um, a Pepsi with Malibu, which is probably my favorite. This is just me, mum and dad at sunset again. Sunset was so beautiful. It just like the sun fell on the mountains. Um, this was a starter for my dinner, which was like feta cheese with pesto and a sun-dried tomato. Then had um, this plate of lovely stuff. The carbonara was amazing. Um, and they had a few for, like falafels and stuff and they were so good as well. And then dessert, I had this, which I can only describe as kind of a hybrid between a creme brulee and a cheesecake. I don't know, but it was really tasty. Last three course meal of the holiday, fast. Um, as well as cocktails and alcohol and drinks. Um, yeah, I have had such a lovely holiday such a lovely holiday. I'm a bit nervous because in, well, I have four days when I get home and then I'm back to uni. So it's a lot coming up, but it's been a really relaxing time off. And actually I've got like five books of me and I've barely read one because I just needed to just relax and just chill. And I actually allowed myself to do that. So yeah. Now I'm gonna pack tonight because we're off quite early tomorrow. But well we're off after breakfast. Not too early. Not not as early as the flight here. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a bit of routine back, I think. This is my little outfit from that night. I absolutely love these. They're trousers, but they look like a skirt. Amazing. Um just a few more clips of sunset. This was sunrise the next day. Um, this was my breakfast and then I also took some stuff to take with me for my lunch. I made a honey sandwich. Um, this was the last little view from the hotel um, and then transferred to the airport. Had my honey sandwich at the airport. It was so random but it was really really tasty. Um, then I obviously had other bits as well. I just didn't take pictures of them. Then we got on the plane um, and then we took off. Um, had many snacks on the plane, enjoyed looking out. I love having a window seat. I love just like looking down at the, um, the sea and the islands. Um, so yeah, had various snacks on the plane um, and then got home. We just got back home from what was a really lovely holiday. Um, I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm about to go and have some dinner. Um, but yeah, I might do a little bit more of a recap tomorrow. But it's freezing because we've not had the heating on. And we left England in like 22 degrees. And we got back and it's like 12 or something. So I'm going to go and have my pasta. And yeah, get back to routine. I had my pasta and then I had my cuddle with my dogs. This is going to be a really quick little end of the video overview of the holiday. Because I'm actually currently cooking dinner for mum and dad. Um, because they deserve it. Um, but yeah, the holiday. Wow. <laughs> um, it went well. It did. So many things I achieved that I never thought I'd be able to. The thing that I realised is there's so many things that I think that are eating disorder thoughts that I don't even realise. And I realised that, like, I don't need to listen to it like it's not so like that one evening that I had the banoffee pie and it was delicious and I was like well I'm gonna go and get more and like in my head that's like well you know you can't go and get more of dessert and it was like yeah I can actually <laughs> I can do these things that that my head tells me I can't do um and like the the times, well, most days I ended up getting multiple courses um, of dinner um, and starters and main courses and all these things that for so long I've just been like, I can't do that. And I'm like, yeah, I can. I can. Um, and don't get me wrong, it wasn't all plain sailing. 
um, it wasn't all easy. Um, I had a few days where I really struggled um, just mentally. I was just in a bit of like my anxiety was up. Um, but I spoke to my mum and we just kind of calmed everything down and made sure we were doing the fundamentals, keeping to the meal plan. Um, I had a different breakfast, like every day that I was there, like than what I have from home. Um, I just, yeah, I challenged foods that, that I couldn't even face six months ago and not just the desserts and like the big meals but little things like having dressing on all of the salads and and yeah dressings is a big thing for me um a lot of what was served was served in oil and oil is a big big difficult food for me um but i knew that i wanted to do it and it was delicious and i realized why people put these things on food because it tastes good um having like cocktails and all that kind of stuff which again I've not had for way over a year um and actually actually not feeling awful about it all I keep on thinking that I'm gonna get this wave of guilt and oh I'm doing the wrong thing and and it it's not easy but it's not it's not as it's not as hard as I thought it was going to be I kind of I build these things up in my head that's like oh you know you're gonna have ice cream or something and then I have the ice cream and I expect this massive thing to happen and it doesn't because ice cream's just ice cream and the day that I had the crepe and I felt like V because it was like crepes um I grew up having crepes I actually grew up having and don't hate me until you try this combination um cheese and maple syrup on crepes such a good combination um so when I had that when I had that crepe for part of my lunch I felt like oh my gosh I'm actually doing it and most of all I just relaxed like I did I, I took I took loads of books with me and I read one in the last few days but other than that I just relaxed and that's something I find difficult too. So overall a good holiday. Um, I am due to restart uni in less than a week and yeah I'm nervous but excited so holiday done. <laughs> very good holiday looking forwards again keeping moving forwards i am glad to be kind of back in routine a little bit and yeah restarting uni in like a few days i can't quite believe this is my life right now it's certainly something that this time last year i couldn't couldn't have imagined i'd be in this place and that feels really lovely right back to go and make dinner for mum and dad so I'm trying to do a bit more cooking at the moment um, and yeah so I roasted a butternut squash and then I made some like chilli con carne type thing and then I put it in and then roasted it with some cheese on it and then I made a special like pea yoghurt dip on the side and they both absolutely loved it so that was really good. I am going to talk in a future video a little bit about me cooking and just how I'm, how I'm working through my relationship with food at the moment um, but for now. But yeah, for now, that's just one of the things that I've been doing. Um, anyway, finishing this video on this quote. 